Hello everyone, um, today is Valentine's Day when I'm filming this and I decided to get myself some new grips. These are the Race Face Half Nelson white grips, they have locking um, grips on them, so basically the same as what I got right now, just a little bit different. Um, these are just the ones that they like, came with. They are, I don't even know what they are, they're just Bond Traeger, generic old grips um but i think that these grips are gonna suit the bike a lot better because it has the gray accents and these are the gray grips so i'm hoping that matches up pretty nicely also since my last video i did put a new fender on here um it's the rock shock just flat fender um it was like 10 bucks um or from worldwide cyclery actually and they also got me a chain stick protector so when the chain slaps, it won't scratch up my bike, which I'm really happy about as well. So let's get started on this install. So these, I wasn't actually able to find the proper size um, Allen key for them, but I do have one that fits in there perfectly. It doesn't have a size on it. It just came with actually my phone mount. It fits the same size, so that's kind of nice. Um, so I'm gonna get those off and I'll be right back. So now when you're taking this off, they're just normally threaded, so righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. I forgot there's a bolt on the back side, that's just what we're following for. Um, but pretty much every bike's going to have different size now and on, so you'll have to figure it out for whatever bike grips you get. And they just kind of like come right off. So. Alrighty, so these are the grips. They're the Race Face Half Nelson. I bought them on Amazon. They're about $20. Um, and really, this is just for aesthetics. The other grips were fine. These grips are probably going to be the same way, just fine. Um, but I'm hoping that they match the gray on my bike a bit better than the black. Just a little bit of a different look. Um, so... They do say race face on them, obviously. Um, and the grip is kind of like a topographical map of somewhere, which is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure where that is, if it is anywhere in specific or in particular. Um, so comparing them to my other grips, they're pretty much the exact same height, exact same diameter. They're just standard mountain bike grips. So they should have no problem going on to the bike. But so this, they come locked down. So what you're gonna wanna do is, it does share the same size so as the other grips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen them up a bit and then that should be able to just slip right onto there, which is perfect. And you can position them wherever you want. I'm thinking, I'm gonna wanna have this race face logo on the outside so I can put them on there like this and probably have this on the outside as well. So I could put it that and then turn this around. Or does it have a specific way? Yeah, it has to go in this way, Never mind. So yeah, I'm gonna have that facing back and the race face facing forward. So it'll go on there kind of like that under my handlebar. So let's get the other one prepped up. And then, I'm not exactly sure how the end caps are supposed to fit on there. I'm sure they just kind of stick into the end of my handlebars, but my handlebars already have caps on them, so I don't know if I'll be able to just take those off. That was one of those end caps. So, yep, yeah, there they are. They look very nice. I'll give it that. Part of the reason why I bought these handlebars is because they look quite nice. Uh, grips so like i said before i wanted the race face logo to be towards the outside so what i ended up doing was putting this one on the left side and that one on the right side so now i just basically got to position them into a comfortable position so that i can get my um, bars and they won't rub on my hands all weird and give me blisters 
so far they do feel great. They do seem to match the gray on my bike pretty well. So I'm very happy about that. Um, let's get these suckers tightened down and get the end caps put in. Um, and then I'll let you know when that happens. One thing I would like to note about um, tightening the grips down, don't make them super tight because you might actually end up stripping out the clamp and then you'll have to go back to your old grips and order some new ones because you might strip them out and then they just won't be able to get tight on you. So what I, I got them tight on there. Um, now I got to put in the end caps, which is going to be kind of a trick because they are really thick. So I'll work some magic. Alrighty guys, I finally got the end caps put on. They were a pain in the butt to get fitted in here, but at least they're on now. So I'm really happy with the way that the gray matches up here and all the other special areas that the gray is basically. Um, one thing that I would like to probably look into is maybe replacing this with the gray there and maybe get them some gray Rock Shock stickers for the forks. Um, but other than that, I'm super happy with these grips. Not that hard to install. Probably took me 20 minutes because I'm slow and it's cold out. So, um, yeah, really, it shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes um, to get these installed. And it really just makes your bike look a lot cleaner once it's all done. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I would go out on a test ride, but it's like negative 10 degrees out right now. So very, very, very cold. Probably not a good idea to go for a bike ride today, sadly. But soon the warm weather is coming, um, hopefully next month. We'll see if I can get on the trails then. Um, but once again, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, subscribe for more stuff. Um, I have a lot of big plans for this year, so make sure you guys are keeping track for that. Um, thank you very much. Have a nice day.